What's up buddies? You're watching Hard Video Order Stuff and have you noticed that recently I've been filming these videos in this new space? Well, I thought it high time I show you around. And just as a reminder, here's my last workspace. And then there was a transition period where I was filming my videos at my office, which looked like this. Now I've moved into a new property and I've made a few changes. Let me show you. Oh, and I'll do my best to link everything below so you can find everything down there. Let's go for a walk. Okay, so here we go, and we're just behind the camera. So firstly, we've got this, which is my Manfrotto tripod. Very good, sturdy. And let's go around the room from left to right. Firstly, I've got this here. This is my the microphone I use, the AKG C14. Sorry, C414 is what I meant to say. Uh, it's awesome, I've talked about it before. Really, really good. This unit is new, you wouldn't have seen this much before, and this is where I'm going to be shooting all of my sort of product B-roll shots and that kind of thing, and it's, you know, it's a storage cabinet, it's not very interesting. Bass trap, of course, for better sound. I've just been filming, and I use this, the Canon 35 uh, F2, which is really, really good. Um, A7S2 on standby, Sennheiser. Headphones, very good open back for accurate sound. In here, I don't know if you're interested, I'll show you anyway. This is my lens drawer. And we've got got plenty here. So that's the 24-70 Canon. What's that? That's the 10 to 18. The 85 F1.8. That's the Sigma 1.4. I use that one. Probably more than anything else. Canon 24. Uh, for APS-C uh, 70 to 200. Um, I've got the 16 to 35 on the camera now, and um, that might. I think that's everything. Various other bits, flashes, and uh, ND, you know, Tiffin ND filters, that kind of thing. Uh, this, I believe, is just just wires and stuff. Stuff. In here, we have storage of bags, that kind of thing. If you're interested, camera bags and cases and that kind of thing. Moving on, this desk is new. It's made from, you know, sleeper sleeper uh, bits of wood. Uh, this this is new. I remember I, I, if you've been following the channel for a bit, you might remember that I used to have a big desk, mixing desk. I've traded that down. You know, I've uh, I've pared it down. I'm now using this lovely sounding. Crimson from SPL. It's really good. Really highly recommend it. Speakers wise, still rocking these Neumann uh, KH120s. I just love them. They're just so good. I can't see myself ever changing from these. <laughs> They're that good. My fancy light, which I love. I've spoken about this one before. Um, computer wise, I'm using it's a 27 inch iMac 5K Retina. Um, 20, late 2017, maxed out, and um, for storage, I, <laughs> okay, I will show you behind, but only for a second, you can pause it if you want to see, okay, just, just lots of hard drives, that's all, <laughs> that's all there is to say, just tons of hard drives, um, this, if you, if you're wondering what this is, this is the, this is the Axe FX2, which is for um, playing guitar, and it's, it's fantastic, it's a really good thing. Like the monkey, nice childhood toy there. <laughs> Found that in a box the other day. Moving on, we've got cases for different things. My Rhino slider, that kind of thing. Manfrotto case. Another bass trap, of course. I have treated the room a little bit with these uh, these panels. I've got three of them around the room just to kind of um, you know sort out any reflections, that kind of thing. Moving on to this guitar rack, obviously not, not all of you are going to be into this, but I'll tell you anyway. That's a Tom Anderson Strat, um, which is just lovely. They only make about 600 or so a year of this one, so they're, they're pretty rare and really nice. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you'll probably recognise all of these. That's my PRS Custom 24 with the headrest, with the, the headstock the same colour as the body which is kind of quite rare again. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not in this light. Um, and then a Gibson Les Paul Standard. Really, really kind of 
standard. Um, I have changed the pickups in the Les Paul and the PRS, both to bare knuckle hand wound, so they sound really good. Do you like the lighting? Pretty gorilla style. That's just a kind of lightsaber style light with uh, a, a couple of gels over it, just to give that purpley effect. Lighting wise, I'm using these Aperture LED panels. This is my kind of hair light, which uh, you never actually see on camera. But um, yeah, I've got that one with no diffusion just to give it a nice kind of crisp, direct light. And obviously, I'm a Mets fan. Some of you will know that. Uh, very nice couch. You can't really see this in the shot either. Um, but it's a sofa bed. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, comfortable. And then over here, obviously, we have another aperture LED panel. And that's with a an umbrella, which I highly recommend. They're such a good, um, but you know, good, good, you know, really good value um, way of getting some some pretty decent diffusion. I highly recommend these. That's basically it. I didn't mention the chair. That's from Amazon. <laughs> Very important. Just um, just don't look under there. Huge mess of cables, you know. Just ignore that. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions of how I can sort that out, tidy it up. Then uh, definitely let me know in the comments. That's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna put you back down now. It's been a year of transition, and I only just feel like things are settled down. Please let me know what you'd like to see more of from this channel in the comment section below. Because when people make suggestions for videos, I do take note, and very often I actually end up making them. So there we go, definitely get them down there. Many thanks for following my channel, that's it for now. Please hit subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content, and until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. Mm -hmm.